friends, we are here assembled in the presence of God tonight, Levi Graves and Sarah Steiner in marriage. The Bible teaches marriage is a permanent relationship of one man and one woman, really totally committed to each other and his companions for life. Our Lord declared to man to leave his mother and father and unite with his wife in the building of a home, and the two shall become one in flesh, who gives the bride to be married. I do. <coughs> The home was built upon love, with virtues best portrayed in the 13th chapter of Paul's letter to the Corinthians. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful, and it does not rejoice in wrong, but rejoices in right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Love never ends. So faith, hope, and love abide in these three. But the greatest of these is love. Marriage is companionship which involves mutual commitment and responsibilities. You will share like and responsibilities in the joys of life. When a companion shares a sorrow, the sorrow is half. When a companion shares a joy, the joy is doubled. You're exhorted to dedicate your home to your Creator, take His Word the Bible for your guide, give loyal devotion to His Church, thus unite in mutual strength these two most important institutions, living your lives as His willing servants. And true happiness will be your temporal and eternal reward. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come today, Lord, just thanking you for the day you've given us. And Lord, as this couple comes to be united as one today, Lord, I just ask that you'll walk in the center of their lives each and every day, Lord, giving them guidance and direction. I ask now, Lord, that you wrap your arms around them and you bless them from this day forward as one. And Lord, I ask these things in Jesus' most holy and precious name. Amen. Amen. Levi, will you take Sarah to be your wife? Will you commit yourself to her happiness and self fulfillment as a person and to her uses in God's kingdom? And will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve her sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and be true and loyal to her so long as you both shall live? Sarah, will you take Levi to be your husband? Will you commit yourself to his happiness and self fulfillment as a person? And his uses in God's kingdom. And will you promise to love, honor, trust, and serve him in sickness and in health, in adversity and prosperity, and be true and loyal to him so long as you both shall live?
Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Um, can I have the link, please? <coughs> Since the beginning of time, the wedding ring has been an outward symbol of what is blessed. A never-ending circle symbolizing the never-ending vows which are taken, and the purity of the gold symbolizing a purity of your love for one another. <coughs> Levi, will you take this, please? Place it on Sarah's finger and repeat after me. Sarah, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Sarah, will you take this please? Place it on Levi's finger and repeat after me. Levi, with this ring, I pledge my life and love to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Marriage not only takes